This is my first attempt at a dual core um, auto or a dual nano auto uh, to demonstrate the use of NeoPixels and the servos um, simultaneously. Um, so what I've put on here on, on one of the extensions are 24 NeoPixels. Okay, so these are just in series. And if we pop open auto, okay, so the usual um, insides, well, almost usual. Um, you can see there the master uh, nano at the bottom on the IO shield, uh, and this is the slave nano. Okay, so these are all powered in parallel with the Neo pixels uh, to here, so they will go through a little junction there. Okay, um, and there's a serial connection between the master uh, and the slave nano, so that the slave can take commands from the master at different points for the motions. So let me just pop this back on and put him through his paces. Occasionally you get pixel dropouts. I haven't written the code too carefully. Let's see how it goes. So there's a five second delay before Otto gets going. So you can see there one set of movements with a neo pixel effect. The second set of movements, different neo pixel effect. Third set, moonwalking. Some sort of crazy thing, I don't know what that one is. And that's the lovely random pixels um, that Camilo sorted out today. So they work beautifully now. Um, everything is coded in Blockly and also really likes the camera. Yeah, so you can't quite see that on the uh, on the video, but that's really a nice green NeoPixel. Yeah, sometimes you get dropout. I need to write the code a little bit more carefully. And off he goes again. Okay, so you'll need to program the... Let me just turn them off. You'll need to program the two um, pieces of code separately. So I'll turn off the camera, check that is working yeah okay so this is the um this is the master code so this is um what will go to the main nano on the io shield um you can see that i'm just writing to the software serial um and a command just before i go through the routine so the command will be sent to um i can't remember which pin it will be the yeah okay so it's it's transmitting through pin 12 so of course this will be connected to the pin 11 on the slave so this is the master um, and if I show you the slave <clears throat> so this would have to be uploaded to the second nano okay let's make that a little bit smaller um, and this is what contains the the neo pixel effects uh, and of course it's reading on the software serial so it's reading on pin 11 um, checking the commands that go through. This is where I need to be more careful. Um, I've just done this very quickly to demonstrate what's going on. I need. To, I would tidy. It took me a lot longer in Blockly than it would have done in, in the sketch. Um, I will tidy things up at a later date if people are interested in this. Um, and the last effect is the one which was fixed by Camilo today, where uh, we can now use the pixels and randomized colors and randomized pins. So that was really nice to get that going. Other than that, the yeah the neo pixel routines are generally just um, loops that I have in here um, with it, color effects happening on them. So yep, so these these will be loaded separately. So this one I'd have to open up Otto. I don't have um, access to the slave nano, so I'd open up Otto, load this onto the slave, load the first one that you saw onto the master, and then fire him up. So hopefully you might be interested in this.